Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is your boy Ito780. Welcome to my channel. Today my content is gonna be about the two most important games that have been re in recent years. So I wanna talk about Call of Duty versus Fortnite. I wanna talk about the difference between one and the other. Before I start, I wanna clarify that I wanna give you my opinion, and this is not this doesn't mean that one of them is better than the other. But I wanna say what is best for me and what I think is the best for you. So you can leave your comment if you do not agree with me or if you agree with me i would like to know what you think guys so let me know in the comment section just so you know call of duty wars nowadays is more popular ge uh, game than fortnite if you're a big battle royale fan looking for the next hit warzone should be on your brother for many different reasons fan fans of fortnite and other battle royale should be familiar with warzone basic premise but the details are where things can really matter so anyone curious about warzone should have minute to know what they're getting into with Call of Duty's next battle royale. Here's how Call of Duty Warzone and Fortnite stack up. Where Fortnite stands out with a cartoon visual style and Minecraft-like building mechanic, Warzone is expectedly more realistic looking and it includes features new to Battle Royales that are inspired from the Call of Duty multiplayer games, like access to loadouts and killer streak rewards. It shares a color-coded loot system with fixed weapon mood, similar to Fortnite rather than an attachment system in PUBG. It serves a color-coded loot system with fixed weapons mood, similar to Fortnite rather than an attachment system in PUBG or Apex Legends. Warzone is currently limited to teams of three, with the option to drop solo or as a duo. Warzone also boasts a much larger player count than other battle royals at 50, uh, 150 players per match compared to the 100 player matches in Fortnite. Similar to Fortnite and Apex, uh, Apex Legends, Warzone allows teammates to be Similar to Fortnite and Apex Legends, Warzone allowed teammates to be brought back from the dead. It also uses the Battle Pass system for leveling up your account and earning cosmetics. In Warzone, you can collect piles of cash from around the map and from defeated players for use at buy stations, which you can find marked on your map. These locations are not fixed between matches. At each, at each station, you can purchase things to give you a big advantage, assuming you have enough money. Many of the things for sale are designed after classic Call of Duty kill streak rewards like UAVs or the airstrike. You can also buy a buy station to purchase a self revive for a team at respawn. Easily the most interesting choice at the buy station is the loadout drop marker. This marks the space for a supply drop, putting a pin on every player's mark map at your marker location. If you can stay alive for the drop, you'll get access to a full loadout of gear. You can customize what appears in this loadout before the match and unlock more options as you pass gameplay milestones. Each loadout comes with traditional Call of Duty perks like Ghost that renders you invisible to UAVs or trackers that lets you see enemy footprints. As added means of earning cash, you can collect items called contracts, which will activate many missions inside of the match, which can conclude staying in a location for a set time or opening a number of weapon crates. Completing a contract will net your team with a good chunk of cash and also incentive a little vibration in your game plan. Finally, Warzone adds one more way to give players another chance of victory by allowing players kill early on in a match to earn a respawn. If you die before a majority of players do, you'll get dragged off to the Gulag for a 1v1 gunfight in a small room against another player who made an early demise. If you win, you'll redeploy from the sky back into the same match, minus any staff or cash you might have found before you die. Fortnite is more straightforward by comparison as players or teams drop onto an island and simply battle until one is left standing. The game's defining mechanic is building as players collect resources such as wood and metal throughout the game world and build fortifications on the flight to defend against and trap opponents. There's no cut system, no kill streaks, no contract, no response. Just a colorful battle royal arena with some building mechanics. 
Fortnite's main game modes consist of solo, duo and squad play, as well as a creative mode that lets players build their own levels outside of the chaos of combat. There are also limited time modes that rotate out on a seasonal basis, including the occasional 50 vs 50 team battle. Warzone currently has two modes, the traditional battle royale as well as the new mode double plunder. Plunder is a new twist on the goals of Battle Royale. It uses all the system mentioned above, but changes the win condition from being the last team alive to being the team that deposits the most cash in 30 minutes. The player limit is set to 102 to make 34 teams of three. Each team has to run around collecting cash, killing other players for their cash, and completing contracts. The team with the most money after 30 minutes or the team to reach $1 million first wins the match. There are some big differences between Plunder and Standard, a standard uh, Battle Royale. Players can respawn infinitely, although they drop half, this, half their cards on the ground when they do, and only the cards you manage to deposit at a special location count for your team. Once you deposit your cards, it's secure and cannot be dropped when you die. Depositing cards takes a little bit of time and can be done either at a very conspicuous deposit location or if you spend some of your team's money to call in your own deposit balloon. In Plunder, there is no shrinking play zone. All 102 players have access to the full map for the duration of the match. <laughs> Dwindling class to be found on the map and responding players looking to take back their lost cards will both help to ensure everyone will have enough incentive to get into fights rather than spend all game looting. And despite the static map conditions, Plunder matches tend to be over much more quickly than the standard Warzone Battle Royale matches.
so guys don't forget to click in the subscribe button leave a like in those in this video and let me know in the comment section what you think about this see you